Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. Um, okay, just want to tell you guys, I was able to get my truck started, working fine right now. I uh, just want to tell you guys what happened as far as as far as uh, the repairs made and stuff like that, work done, diagnosis, troubleshooting, stuff like that. So basically yesterday I was at the mall and I spent about maybe like an hour and a half there. Obviously I parked my car, turned it off, went to the mall, did some shopping, came back to my car, tried to start it and it, nothing. Like, like, um, actually everything worked, uh, everything worked as far as, uh, you know, electrical accessories, the dash, chimes, noises, you know, all the, all the usual ch chimes, rings, all that stuff actually worked. You know, it, it turned on as usual, but, uh, but it didn't crank up. So I was a little bit worried, obviously. I was thinking maybe I left the lights on. So I turned my headlights on, went out. And check the headlights to see what the deal was. Make sure that the battery was good. If you guys have this situation where you guys want to check your battery to see whether uh, your battery is good or not, just turn on your headlights, go out, uh, take a look at it. If the headlights are strong, chances are your battery is good. That's not always the case, obviously, but maybe that is the case. Um, but anyway... That's not the end of the test as far as the battery is concerned. Normally, if the headlights are bright, you you know, even if the battery was a little bit weak, you should be able to get like a slow crank from it. Um, I wasn't able to get a small, low, slow crank from it. So, so I was like, okay, um, can't be 100% sure it's not the battery. So I kind of looked around and uh, the terminals were a bit, corroded with some white bluish stuff on it and on top of that uh, terminals were a bit loose and I knew they were loose because um, this actually happened a couple of times over the last month and uh, you know after trying to start it six seven times it you know it, it worked previously and a lot of times it was because I wiggled the the terminal Sorry, this time around, um, I, I was going to clean the terminal. I didn't clean the terminal uh, previously, so I had a can of Coke and poured some Coke on the terminal, had some paper towel, wiped it, popped it back on, and they were tight enough. They were tight enough. Not, not, not super tight, but they were tight enough, so I popped it on. Didn't have anything to tighten it, but um, went back, tried to turn it on. And uh, nothing did not get a single thing from it. Um, everything worked pretty good though. Radio, blow motor, um, everything works fine except it wouldn't crank. So at that point, I was like, okay, um, what else could I check? What else could I check? So I was looking at, I was looking at. Um, um, at the negative at the at that point, I was looking at the negative of 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 the battery. I was thinking maybe the negative had an issue, which uh, probably um, had a weak connection to the battery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I was looking at the 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 negative line, the ground line, and uh, I checked it out, and the ground was pretty good. Uh, had no, had, you know, the ground was not corroded, and it was held tight to the frame by the bolt. And I was like, okay, probably not the ground. Um, at that point, I was thinking to myself, okay, it's not the battery, it's not the ground. I know for sure it's not the alternator because um, because I did actually get get it jumped. I, I, I asked somebody to help me out with a jump. It wasn't until the third person who I asked, third, fourth person who I asked, who, who was okay with giving me a jump. I did the jump and still had the same issue. Had the turn, had the cables on for like 
two minutes still had the same issue. So I knew it wasn't the alternator because if it was the alternator, you know, uh, if it was the alternator, alternator, uh, the car would have, the, 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 it would have worked. And, um, it would have worked. It would turn, it would, it would have turned over at least crank turn over. I didn't hear any of that except for a click. So uh, at that point I was like, okay, fine. Uh, it's not the alternator, not the battery, not the ground. What else could it be? Um, thought it may have been the fuse, could have been a relay. And uh, I was thinking it might have been the relay, but I, I must have tried to start it at least 15 times and all 15 times. I always heard like a faint click, a faint click, like a click, click click you know it's like each time I, I would try to start it's like click and then nothing and then click and then nothing and and I know I know where that's coming from uh from uh it's coming from the all from uh the relay so I know it's not the relay because that's the that's the relay going off you know normally uh it's the it's the relay making contact and, and then sending an electrical charge that's how you know the relay worked because if, if I didn't hear a click, I might have thought that was the relay. Not percent sure because I didn't actually do a test on it, um, you know, on the spot. So uh, we're down to a couple of things. I had an OBD2 scanner with me, and I I, I didn't think it was the computer I was causing it. Uh, the car's computer, PCM, ECM. Um, so I was like, let me just put the OBD2 on there. I know it's not going to give me. It's a $19 OBD2 scanner that I bought from Walmart. I know it's not going to give me uh, an, ex you know, it's not going to tell me, you know, what's causing a note start. It's not going to, it's not going to, no start's not going to show up on OBD2. It's not going to show up on OBD2. So, um, but still, I plugged it in just to see what, it, you know, if, if, if uh, you know, anything came up. But, but especially to make sure that there was a connection from the car to, to the car's computer. And you know OBD2, it it scanned, it read, you know, no codes, nothing like that, as I had suspected. So at that point, I was like, okay, the cost computer is good. There, the connection is good, at least, at least uh, from from what I can tell. So so now we're we're, we're down to uh, we're down to the fuses. Okay, maybe it could be like a, a fuse or something like that. Um, I I know there have been a couple of times I've only had I've only had this uh, I, I've only had it had this um, truck for like uh, a couple months, like two months. Uh, previous to that, I had a Honda had had a Honda Accord. So anyway, um, I don't know exactly. You know what the history of of the truck is, but but as far as the the fuses were, were concerned, um, I was thinking I had two occasions where I had uh, fuses that would cause no start. One of those occurred when uh, the main fuse blew on my Honda. The main fuse blew on my Honda, and uh, I had no electricity inside the car whatsoever. Like as if somebody took the battery out and. And uh, I knew it was the main fuse because I actually hooked up uh, two screwdrivers, the metal part, one kind of kind of crossed two two screwdrivers, the metal metal to metal, and that actually created a connection where where um, the car turned on, and that was the that was that was the main fuse that blew. Uh, I know that that's not the situation here. Reason being is that um, I am getting power to everything. Except it won't crank. Fine. So the second thing, the second issue, the second um, fuse issue that caused a no start, um, I had with another with an Acura, and uh, that that car would not would would crank, but it would not turn over. It would crank, but it won't turn over. So. Um, what I did was, I think I switched, swapped out the fuse for the fuel pump, 
or the um, it was it was either the fuel pump or the PCM. And once that was swapped out, car got going again. Crank turnover. It worked. And unfortunately, that's not the issue with the situation that I had. <laughs> oh. oh man, I gotta change something. But um, that's that wasn't the situation because um, I was able, I was I wasn't able to crank it all. Okay, I'm getting power, not able to crank. So I was like, okay, uh, that's that's pretty much as far as the fuse is concerned. I can I can say I can pretty much you know leave that out. Uh, trouble you know as far as diagnosis is concerned, probably not the fuses. So um, at at that point, I was like, maybe it's the starter. Now I've only had the truck for like two two months, and uh, you know. Um, it, it, yeah, it probably was a starter as far as you know experiences that I've had with starters going out. It 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 it's pretty much those symptoms, uh, you know. But I really was looking for like a fast and quick. I was hoping that was uh you know something that I could actually just change up on the spot, uh, which was either a fuse, a relay, a battery. One of those things. Anyway, I wasn't 100 percent sure it was a starter, but uh, had to get the car towed. Car triple A had to get the car towed. Had to get the truck towed. It was towed, and um, once I got home, uh, did 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 the test again on everything on the battery. Did the test on the fuses. Did the test on the um, the relay. Now I actually took the relay off and did the bump test with a pin and um and it actually uh did nothing i heard nothing from uh you know from the starter so i was like at that point i was like 95 percent sure because that was like pretty much a direct direct um uh connection from the battery to the starter doing that bump test but anyway at that point i took everything off and uh, when I got to the starter, I did another test by putting a wire from the positive terminal of the battery to the solenoid, to the positive solenoid. And uh, try to do a direct bump test, a direct, direct bump test. And uh, it, the, the, the uh, starter did not crank, did not move, did not hear a single thing. From it. So at, at that point, I knew it was the starter. It was the problem. Um I took it out, went to AutoZone, I had them test it out again, and um, nothing whatsoever coming from the starter. So it was definitely the starter. And so basically, I ended up getting a rebuilt starter. The rebuilt starter was like 150, 160, something like that, with the core given. The core, which was the old starter, uh, you know, uh, given back, given to them. And uh, popped it in, and it started up. I haven't had issues since. Yes, you know, I haven't had issues since. Uh, everything works. Uh, got it working again. Um, if you guys are in this situation, you guys looking for, like, you know, a, a reason why your car is not starting, you know, just do the whole troubleshooting that I did as far as the battery, the fuse, the relay, the ground wire, all those things. I know I probably left out a couple of things, maybe the ignition, um, but, but I, I actually changed the key fob key. Um, it, it could, you know, but still, still, you probably could figure out like 90% of the time you probably could probably figure out, you know, your issues with your car with that particular situation. Um, whatever your situation is. Anyway, I hope this has helped you guys out as far as, uh, your issue. If you have any comments, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, you know, hope this has helped you guys out in some way since you guys are probably watching this video just just for, you know, just to, um, you know, j just to get some help on, on, on your situation. All right, guys. All right. Take care.